Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. More Bulldog hockey coverage. And with us, senior Corey Kane. And Corey, uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I know, uh, as Coach Daniels mentioned earlier, uh, the Bulldogs on to the NCAA tournament. Congratulations on that. And uh, certainly uh, should be an, an exciting week for the Bulldogs. Uh, definitely, for sure. Uh, great opportunity for us to uh, get our name out there and making uh, strides each year. And hopefully it'll be a good tournament. As you look back over the season, uh, certainly uh, your senior season, your final season here with the Bulldogs, uh, been a great year. Uh, what, what's maybe been the highlight of your year so far? Uh, the, just just the way the teams come together, and uh, you know we had a great run in, in the WCHA, making it all the way to the championship. Not the result we wanted, but uh, you know we definitely got a second uh, second life here in the, the tournament. So, uh, you win the w regular season championship uh, here in the WCHA this year. It uh, was a, a race that went to the wire. Uh, you led from wire to wire, but uh, certainly Minnesota State right on your heels and uh, probably helped you as a team uh, continue to play at a high level. Yes, uh, for sure, because um, them being right on us uh, definitely you know, added some pressure and uh, kept us uh, battle-tested, making us, in the long run, will help us out in the playoffs and in the tournament. I know as you look back over your four years, uh, plenty of success here in the in the Ferris State program. Uh, two years ago, reaching the national championship game. How was how was all that uh, uh, past uh, history? The last three years uh, really helped you going into your senior year and uh, throughout your senior year. Uh, I, I think it definitely gives you a confidence booster. You know, you've been there before. You know what to expect. You you, you, um, you, you can help out the the underclassmen, and you know just what, whenever times get tough, you know you just got to keep keep going hard and you know things will things will come together. Five seniors are uh, going to go out as uh, the most wins uh, by a senior class uh, here in in school history. What is it what does that mean to you uh, with uh, being able to do that with the, that group of guys? Well, it means a lot you know um, I didn't realize that until he said that but um, you know I, I think it's definitely an honor you know being able to say hey we won the most games and out of uh, all the existence of the program it's, it means a lot. The Bulldogs uh, over the course of the year uh, in terms of the lines, it uh, mixes up each and every night uh, different times, but uh, one of the mainstays there uh, alongside you has been another senior in Andy Huff. Yeah, it seems that it's been that way since my four years. Uh, not, maybe not so much freshman year, but uh, we've played a lot of hockey together since uh, sophomore year, and you know, he's a great, great player. Uh, I, I know what to expect. He gives, uh, you know, everything every night, and uh, he does the little things, and it, it's been uh, a big reason why we've had a lot of success this season. I know uh, over your four years here, obviously, uh, coming from uh, uh, a distance, uh, California native, uh, uh, talk about the experience in Big Rapids uh, with the Ferris State hockey community behind you. I, I've been around, um, you know, a little bit. I played in Canada, and, uh, you know, here it's just the, the people love hockey, and uh, it's, a, it's a great experience. The fans, the, the Bulldog uh, dog pound, uh, just playing in front of them means a lot every night, and uh, definitely gives us a boost, especially when we're at home. Oh, well, this uh, past weekend, obviously, a great experience in Grand Rapids, uh, reaching the championship game in the WCHA tournament. But then you come home, and uh, right away, uh, the selection show on on Sunday, and a great crowd at Buffalo Wild Wings, and uh, certainly a great occasion uh, celebrating the fact that the Bulldogs are back in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great crowd down in uh, Van Andel. Um, glad to see that they traveled so well. It reminded me a lot of uh, the Frozen Four. Um, and, you know, hopefully we get that crowd in, in Cincinnati. As you watched uh, the selection show, uh, you look up, you see the Bulldogs' name and facing Colgate. Uh, what, what was the first thought that came into your mind uh, seeing Colgate uh, there as the opponent? Uh, I think it's uh, you know it's a good thing because you know when sometimes we play uh, some of those big name schools, some of those guys that haven't played against them, they get that wow effect and they kind of in awe. And I think the fact that we played them three times, everyone knows what to expect. We know what the you know there's we we got a good taste of their systems and you know we'll, we'll be well prepared for Friday night. You met Colgate uh, there in the first weekend of the season uh, back in October, and hard to believe uh, here now in the month of March uh, facing them again uh, with, with the season for both teams on the line. Yeah, uh, you know, you, you don't always see that happen. Usually when you play a team out of conference, you don't you see them once. And then we, we saw them in Minnesota as well. So, you know, it's, you know, the fact that they've won two out of the three, you know, hopefully we get a, a little revenge. As you look back to two years ago and uh, that great run the Bulldogs had, how does that experience help you as a player uh, as you get ready for the NCAA tournament this time around? Uh, you know, it, it, it definitely uh, gives you confidence um, and experience. And, uh, you know, it's a second opportunity, you know, to win a national championship, do something special. And, uh, you know, last time you might be a, a little, it just happened so fast. This time you really know what's going on. Um, and, you know, you just want to make the best of it. 
I know uh, on the opposite side of the bracket, as Coach mentioned, Wisconsin, North Dakota, two of the maybe perennial powers in college hockey. Uh, uh, certainly you have to get by Colgate first, but a uh, great opponent that you would face in the second uh, round as well. Yeah, so, so two good teams. Uh, I think Wisconsin's really on a, you know, a roll as of late. And, uh, you know, hopefully we get, we get past Colgate and we give them a, get a good shot at playing well this year. I know this past weekend uh, down at Van Andel uh, had a chance maybe uh, of some of that postseason experience uh, playing in the WCHA championship and uh, a similar type of uh, feel and environment that maybe you'll face this time around. Yes, uh, you know, maybe not so. It'll be similar, you know, in the fact uh, that, you know, some teams won't travel as well as us. But, uh, you know, I think it'll be a pretty similar atmosphere down there. I know, uh, obviously, uh, the season uh, – here you hope uh, lasts a couple more weeks. So uh, what's uh, in the future for Corey Kane uh, after Bulldog hockey's all over? Uh, you know, I, right now I just want to focus on, on what, what's ahead of me uh, with the team. But I mean, hopefully, you know, uh, I can I can uh, play pro hockey eventually. So I know uh, obviously a, a student here at Ferris State as well. And uh, as we've talked uh, with some athletes in the past, uh, certainly a great deal of uh, time management goes into that uh, and making sure you're on top of your studies and in the classroom. and. Uh, certainly at this time of year, uh, that's that's probably important for a student athlete. Uh, yeah, it's uh, really important because if you don't uh, manage your time, you're going to fall behind, especially with the playoffs. We've been on the road the last, the last four weeks. We've been on the road every missing a couple of days of school, so it's important. We saw the footage of the Alaska Anchorage uh, game winner uh, here uh, earlier in the show, and uh, the Bemidji one before that. Uh, it's certainly been some exciting uh, playoff-type hockey here in the last couple of weeks for the Bulldogs. Yeah, those, uh, those are the type of the moments you live for, you know, when – with games on the line and, and you know, someone, school, someone on the team, doesn't matter who, but as long as the team wins and you see the, the, the boys just swarm each other, it's just, it, that's, that's hockey, that's playoff hockey. That's hockey you want to be a part of. I know as, uh, as a senior, uh, certainly uh, you learned uh, from some gr great seniors ahead of you as you look back to two years ago, Chad Billens, Taylor Nielsen, uh, the list goes on. Uh, how do you take some of the, some of the traits uh, that they uh, helped establish and pass those down onto some of the younger players? Uh, you, you know, you take a little bit of everybody's, you know, what they do well, and uh, you don't want to be o too overbearing with the underclassmen, but, you know, you just want to, you know, the way I look at it is you want to lead by example, and that's that's what those guys did, and, um, you know, they had success. They took us to the Frozen Four first time, and, you know, hopefully we can do something like that this year. Well, Corey, uh, best of luck to the Bulldogs here in the NCAA tournament starting this week. Thank you. That's going to do it for another episode of Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action and all the updates online at ferrostatebulldogs.com. Thanks for tuning in.